Welcome to my closet. I don't know why I'm sitting on the floor, but here we are on the floor. This is an apartment that we are just meant to be staying in temporarily. We were just going to move in for a couple of months while we were between different things. Uh, we have been here for two years and we are overflowing it. So apologies if there are any people that get irked. Irked, solid word maybe a little bit annoyed by <laughs> how haphazard things are in here although i know where everything is everything has its place it's just all fairly on top of each other this cup and my t-shirt are really on theme for this video and i just had no idea so there we go meant to be it's going to be on mixing prints today I don't pretend to be an expert, so this is just how I would go about doing it, have a bit of fun with it. During this filming, we are stuck inside, and I'm going to make Zach take pictures of me. Haven't decided exactly where yet, but it may include some home appliances. So please forgive that there won't be a glamorous background, but I just feel like all of a sudden that's turned into our vibe, you know? We like to keep it somewhat real. To help give a little pizzazz, Pizzazz, again, great word. Possibly not used enough. No matter what colour, print, texture you are wearing, you cannot go wrong with some hoops and some. Disclaimer, I have already drunk my tea. Well, I have now finished my tea, but we love a good transition, so had to bring him into the closet, didn't I? Welcome to my first style video. No, which one would be English breakfast? What did I do? Beep! You know, because it's not plugged in. That would have been a better commitment for me to come and actually plug the kettle in, but I did not do that, so... Beep! Let's give it a go. The whole point is it's fun. Get ready for a lovely transition! Oh! Hiya! Mixing prints, it's easiest if you keep one colour the same. So obviously this is white. With the shoesies... Uh, shoesies, who says that? With the shoes. I've just picked a colour from the uh, a cod again um, but they're still quite plain they've got some black on them so they kind of go with the theme and I just think this is cool and the red lipstick goes I often wear this dress with flats flats are so cool they're so easy and I just love flats but obviously you know you can put some heels with it if you were going to do different shoes I would stick with black to be honest because I think white might be a bit too much but you know experiment I love mixing prints because I just think it's fun and fashion should be fun. So here is look one. Fun. Did I say that enough? Are you having fun? This is quite a bold pattern to combine. If you just wanted to dip your toe in a little bit into the mixed prints paddling pool, if you just wanted to stay at the shallow end, you could do a little something with this. Oh, you can never go wrong with a headband or any sort of hair accessory and it's a really good way to introduce a uh, mixed print in with your outfit. If you get a bit scared when you're out and you think it's a bit too extra you can always just take it off. Easy peasy put it in your handbag. It's matching the black and the white again and I think the shoes still work even though we've taken the red out because they do have a black sole and they're still quite a dark red so it kind of goes with the darker tones. You know my obsession with whistles and this dress is whistles. They just fit so nicely I think on a shorter person. I wouldn't know about a long person as I am not one but um, I can say as someone that is fairly short, five foot four on a very good day. The proportions are just really lovely I think. And I like this because you can wear it here if you're feeling a little bit something. And then up here, you know, if you're going to have Sunday brunch with the fam. So here you go. Cute little headband. If you just want to try mixing prints, you can do accessories. <laughs> We've got some stripes and leopards coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, gonna keep watching, aren't you? At least just keep watching to see me 
potentially knock myself out throwing hangers up and down. So here's another example, an example of just having a little accent at the top or at the bottom, you know, as an accessory, as a shoe, as something that's a bit more introducing being comfortable, getting comfortable with mixing prints. Leopard print goes with everything. Uh, I think it's a really lovely accent. I love these shoes. They're from Faith, which is a UK high street shop, but they do uh, ship internationally as we are in modern times. And what I love about them, they have a lovely, what you call a toe cleavage. I say what you call a toe cleavage, that could just be in my family, but they show a lot of skin. I think it helps to elongate the legs. Sometimes I take off the little anklet if i say if i was wearing maybe a mini i would probably take off the little ankle strap uh, because i think it maybe shortens the legs but seen as this dress comes way below the knee i don't think we have to worry about that this dress was from a vintage shop had to dry clean it a few times to get the smell out but once it was gone it never came back or oh, i just got used to it i quite like it without a belt but i do think Adding a belt gives a little something something and it helps to bring the shoes in because if you add a collar that kind of can tie the shoe in as well so you have the the black or this is actually very deep navy but I don't think it really matters with the black on the leopard print and then the brown and the brown of the belt it just seems like it's all fairly deliberate because you think oh normal 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 yes yeah, standard 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 oh uh, She's probably a bit fun. Look at the cute shoes. Mixing print. So here we go. Look two. Hey. Look three. When I put this on, Zach said, oh, are you showing people how to not do it as well as do it properly? which I get what he means because it is a little bit like the greens so we're matching the green and the flower and the green in the dress and they are different shades of green my reason for doing it is that I just think it's fun it's cool for me they go well together and the thing that ties it in with my brain is that they both have green in them and I don't think the color needs to match exactly for you to be able to pull it off. I went very plain on the shoes. I just think this is cute. It's cool, it's funky. The jacket is such a cool wiggly line anyway. Of course you're gonna pair it with something else a little bit extra. Magnetize the extra, why not? The jacket's by a London-based designer called Tatanaka. It's that kind of scuba divey material. If you turned up to a party or you turned up to dinner in this, it's just such a fun impact. And then you can take it off and just feel jolly sophisticated jolly sophisticated also a really fun thing with this one <sighs> it took me a while to get into bucket hats now i am fully there the leopard i mean obviously you can match anything with leopard i think that's the moral of this story it brings out the brown and the buttons i think converse are just a cool thing to pair with it to just kind of make it a more casual look and i think the hoops still work Gosh, I'm out of breath from these transitions. Anyway, this one is slightly extra. This whole look, the jacket and this, are a little bit extra, a bit out there, but fashion has to be fun. White is the matching colour, which ties in the shoes as well. It's an easy way of doing it. Stripes and dots are fairly safe patterns, not too loud, and it's just a subtle way of kind of having a bit of fun. And I also like dressing down fairly dressy outfits. Vince Camuto, and it's so beautiful, and it's lovely made, and it... Lovely Lily made? Lovely Lily made. It's lovely flows really nicely. I just like to wear it in the day because I wear many more day outfits than evening outfits. A nice sneaker. These are Rothy's made from recycled plastic bottles, which is just so cool. I absolutely love them. The t-shirt you would usually put with flats like this, and it's kind of nice to mix it up with a skirt and make it a daytime look. So I think you should really try and use all your lovely clothes and wear them in the day and dress them down a little bit if you need to.
you can easily dress it up too. This is a good look to go from day to night. Uh, hello? Oh my gosh, it's my favorite beauty fashion bl blogger. Hey, look, there's oh, cameras, cameras everywhere. everywhere. There's cameras everywhere. Oh my gosh. Goodbye. Goodbye. At Zachary Burrabel on the tube. Last look, and it's a doozy. <laughs> A really great way of mixing prints is mixing prints that are all one colour and just mixing textures of prints. Prints of textures. Texture prints? Texture prints. Oh, I just love it. And black, I think, is such a cool way to do it because people sort of have to look twice and it may not be as obvious but it's a nice little secret for you and then when people get close enough they can tell. Tights are a really good way of mixing prints. I've kept the shoes black and the painted round toe I think go very well with this kind of style with the Peter Pan collar and the cinched in waist and it's, it's cute but I think to stop it being too cutesy adding a bit of a funky tight is the way forward. So this is just a really cute little dress I love the collar detailing of it and it's already mixing quite a lot of things so it does potentially make it a little bit extra but I just think it's such a cute fun dress anyway why not tip it over the edge into hysteria over the edge into hysteria oh I've just noticed I don't have my engagement ring on <laughs> oops anyway look five mixing textures as prints hey Thank you for being here, my first YouTube style vlog one. Vlog, gotta get used to that word, vlog. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it and my main message, if anyone is still watching at this point, is just have fun with it. Here are some ways that you can mix prints, but I just think if your instinct tells you to throw a jacket on over the top of a dress, even though they've both got prints, just go for it why not fashion is about having fun at least for me it's your closet they're your clothes wear them how you want to these are how i wear mine <laughs>